Welcome to season two, episode five in this bitch, the Halo Council. Elamite Gandhi G Mac is here. I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited as hell because Halo 4 is dope as shit. I, I'm just, I, I just want to get that out of the way right away. I finally put a hundred games in so I can talk about it, and it is incredibly refreshing. I'll give you that, D. I actually bought it this weekend as well. I know everyone was like, how the fuck don't you have this game already? And I was, yeah, fin finances, you know. But this weekend, D, you know, we were playing it. We had a good time. I logged 50 games in a day, Saturday. No questions asked. At a base level, I really do enjoy it. And I think there's a lot of potential. So what level are you guys now? Twenty eight, baby. I think okay, doing work. I think I'm like, like twenty twenty six or twenty. I mean, uh, you're, you're sitting back. Yeah, you're supposed to be the pro. Over here. No, I'm not that high. I'm only like a, a thirty six or something. So okay. Like, so what are your thoughts about the game, though? Dude, I love the game. I when I'm, I actually have fun playing it again, which <laughs> I haven't done in a long time. I, I switch controller settings so I can just jetpack everywhere. And yeah. Kids, so. Now, now, since I don't play Claw, I can actually still enjoy the game and still shit on kids, so definitely like it. You're the epitome of what I hate. I hate getting jetpacked more than anything in this world, dude. It's just so powerful. Frustrating. I don't see how you can't use it. The thing about this game, compared to every other Halo, though, is, is even in Halo 2, I never went in to the King of the Hill playlist. That's not something that I did. Was there a King of the Hill playlist in Halo 2? Yeah, I, yeah there was. And, <laughs> and I didn't go into it, you know. And, and maybe I had to capture the flag every once in a while. I, I didn't really play oddball playlists. But that's what I find myself doing in Halo 4. Because that's how fun the objective game types are. It's an incredible amount of fun. Uh, when you play 5v5, it makes sense with how big the maps are. Uh, I, I think it's just a great time, and we're going to talk about that. Let's just go ahead and talk about it now. Let's just, no, let's just, okay, so listen. Just knock it out of the park, but here's, here's my thing, is looking at the game, I just, I can't stop talking about how open this game is. Uh, compared to the game types that everybody thinks that we have, and to what I know that this game has potential to be. This isn't just Haven 4, ladies and gentlemen. It feels like it, though, sometimes. This game has a wide range of possibilities, dude. Hill is part of the game. Dominion is part of the game. Ball, capture the flag. They're all part of the game, and this could lead to potential greatness and 14, 15 game types easily. All right, so now I, I think everyone wants to know why do you believe that it should be played five on five? I mean, besides the fact that the maps are big and the playlist is five v five, why do you think it'll work? Bunch of five on five now, Scotty. Okay. All right, and I love it. I, I think it plays so great. I, 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 and when you look at four versus four, it's just a little bit slower. I'm not going to hate on it if it's 4 vs 4. Uh, again, that's not my big thing. I mean, 5v5, yeah, that's awesome if we get there. But, but the big thing to me is we have to play these objective game types because they're just too much fun. They're way too much fun not to play. Uh, so, you know, if we play a 4v4 because we have to, I guess, but do I think that's the optimal way to play this game? No, I don't. I, I think... The reason uh, you enter the playlist and it's 5 versus 5 is because that's the best way to play that playlist. And, and that's the way I enjoy it the most. So, you know what? I'm going to continue to play the playlist. Uh, I'm going to continue to play 5 versus 5 when I can. I enjoy getting a party of 5 together. It's like I can add a new friend, okay, which is a little bonus. So, I, I think it's cool. And uh, 5 versus 5, I think everybody should actually give it a try, yeah. Right. Before we keep going, though, I'm, I'm seeing that. About the volume. Yeah, I don't know if it's too low or what. But I mean, it's all, all all the way up on my end for both. I think Dmac just has to get closer to his mic since he refuses to buy a headset. So Scott, let's. I have a Steel Series headset. Dmac closer. You have a headset. I could try to switch headphones. Mm. See, this is the problem, dude. This is the problem. Alright, I'm too quiet. I'm going to try to switch mine and see what happens. Wait, what, what did you normally use? 
Okay, well, well, besides the point, D, you there? Yeah, can you guys hear me now? Speak. What about now? <laughs> I have a, I have the, Roger. <laughs> Alpha. I hate you so much. Who y'all have fucking... Yeah, Kyle, <laughs> Mike doesn't even work, dude. I just, uh, don't... It, 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 Kyle, it doesn't work. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Ah, uh, D, are you there? Can you hear yeah. me? Can you, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You're, you sound, you sound decent. Not as good, but you sound decent. Okay. Yeah, this is hilarious, dude. I think I'm just going to try to act like I know what Kyle's talking about, because I have no idea what he's saying. Yeah, let's get... Ki- wait, wait, Kyle, say that again. Hello? Yes. Yeah, yeah, one, two. Check, check. Okay. All right, back to discussion. 5v5? Wait, okay. You actually sound good. You sound good. You sound a lot better than D. D, what are those ridiculous... Are those Steel Series head- headphones? Yeah, I'm sorry. All right. Yo, those look so dumb. <laughs> Yo, s- just lean into your i. Just lean into your Mac. Like lean in. Okay. I prefer Astros. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's perfect, right there. So, um, now since the first. It, it, it's a viable discussion. All right, so so now since we've wasted six minutes because the sound sucks, I blame Skype. Um. DMAC believes 5v5 should be in, and I am actually uh, siding with DMAC for once. I, I, I just want to test it. I want to know if it's the best because I've played it, and it actually is fun. DMAC forced me forced me to play King of the Hill today after my class before I went to work. It's not hard to play it. That's the, that's the way it goes. Yeah, but you know how close-minded I am in regards to competitive settings and what I enjoy to play. But why was it 4v4 to begin with? It's just how the game is designed and how the maps play out for the number of people running around on it. So Halo 2, Halo 3, it's always 8, but the maps have always been much smaller than they are now. Uh, Big Team Battle was always fun back in the day, assuming you had a good team and you're playing against a good team. I could see 5v5 being effective. Things that would come into play is, I remember I tweeted the other day, I was running around, I'm killing people, and you kill them, kill them, kill them. I felt like I was playing Gauntlet Legends because the instant respawn, especially for a 5v5, that would, would be what would have to change. Because if you can kill someone and they spawn instantly, they're like funneling out of one area. So many people that you can't stop them from funneling out until you actually kill the last one there alive. So that's why I, 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 I don't huh? really agree with you. I, I, again, it's, I know it's the word instant respawn, but it that doesn't mean the same thing as it did in Halo 3 and Halo well, 2 and Halo that's 3. only for Slayer games. The, I'm not, the King of the Hill and Oddball is different, so you, yeah. you don't even have to deal with that. All right, that's what I'm saying. It is uh, when it comes to respawning those, I agree with you. Five second at least for Team Slayer, but in objective game types, it's not a big deal if it's instant no. respawn. I, I really don't well, see that. As wait, a, an objective? Objective yeah. is when you need the longer respawn. It's always been ten seconds in all the other Halos. I know, that's, dude, but that's what I'm saying. Is these maps are so big, and the way it's playing so far, I really don't think that it'll be that big of a deal. If we play it just like it's playing in the playlist, that's the way the game was meant to be played. Turn radar off, and that's exactly what the setting should be. Take a couple of those ordinances off, and then you can't use a couple of these fucking abilities. You know what I'm saying? Right there, right there, you have your game. It's pretty much what you get out of the box. Well, well, a lot of, there's the map pack isn't there yet, like the the maps. I remember a lot of people were complaining about Solace at the event because I don't, was it one of the flags is pushed up further at Red Base, I believe, than the other one. So you get in there and you start killing people and you start pushing the flag, but everyone has already spawned further up uh, in front of the flag guy already when you start running it. So you know, as it comes down to whether or not it's four v four or five v five, huge part of it is just the maps and the spawn system. In well, general, it's designed for it. But I would love to see 5v5. Five five. Uh, you know, most teams already have coaches or or the team changes. Like, could you imagine the team changes that would happen in a 5v5? Five five? It would be so insane cool. because everyone has to pick up one other, pl- one other player. So some teams would dissolve and other teams could become infinitely stronger. And, like, the player, 
the players, the skill set, the skill range of each player on that team. Like, could you imagine Instinct with Snipe Down on it and Warriors <laughs> throwing somebody else on it, type or like a, like a Formal or a Heinz or something? That could be insane teams. The, I, I think the biggest hindrance, though, is one, we have to look at will MLG actually pick it up, okay, if it's 5v5. MLG is traditional. They It's split screen. That's going to fuck up a lot of things in the AM bracket, that's for sure. Mm. Another thing, it's already super hard for teams to get fours, which is like the main complaint DMAC and I got. Like, It's already hard for amateur teams to get four solid players who aren't going to be shady at the event. I think the main complaint I got was, oh, MLG's accustomed to doing it with 4v4, and we want to be picked up by MLG, so let's just keep it 4v4. I think that is is kind of the main, you know. But everybody is down to play it. Everybody enjoys playing it, and they really have a great time playing it. However, they're scared that it's not going to get picked up on the tournament scene. I'm pretty confident it's going to be yeah. picked up. But, uh, like, as, as opposed, like no, we said before, as, before, no, before. I'm saying as a 5v5 game oh, bro, okay. rather than 4v4. I, I, I think what, whatever the community thinks is the best, it's going to get picked up that way. But it would need to be definitive answers. Like, here at MLG, look, everyone played it this weekend. Everyone loved 5v5s. This has to be it. And Sundance, you know, th- this is a game that created Major League Gaming. They know that. Sundance will make it happen. I don't know how it'll work for amateur, <laughs> the, the early rounds and splits and FFA, but I'll, I guess three TVs at, at each station, two split screens, one guy gets full screen, which, you know, then you get to decide who gets the full screen and all that bullshit. But I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I think it's going to really hurt the amateur teams a lot because getting five well, players is going to suck. Well, look at League of Legends, uh, 5v5, yeah. plus they only sell... Like what, eight or ten or maybe twenty? I, don't, I have no idea, really. Uh, I but think the they most sell... they ever did was forty. Well, they well, like even at the last event, they maybe sold forty, but like that's all they would sell. They wouldn't sell anymore because they could not run through the tournament that yeah. quickly. Would, the games are so long, so involved that there's just not enough time in the weekend. So let's say you told, you sold Halo passes for a five v five tournament, and you only sold one, you know, to one twenty eight then obviously it would be a much higher demand. Team passes would sell out instantly. You'd have to get on these teams. Not only that, but obviously there would be less teams because it's a 5v5. I could see something like that working out. Makes logical uh, sense well, to me. Well, that, that, that's the thing. Is That's a great point. Is There's less teams now, and you're getting Not more now. money out of a team. Well, there, yeah, the there's teams like, would diminish by, what, you're adding 25% on, so maybe 25% drop in the teams. Yeah, well, and that 240, does help. Like 20%, whatever that that well, like a four-member team adding on another member. Quicker. So that might be something that actually helps the tournament scene rather than hurt it. Uh, Puckett reached out over Twitter. I don't know if some of you guys saw the tweets. He said, guys, we already have it kind of set up for 4v4. Just keep it that way. But here's the thing, you know, and, and we want to accommodate Puckett, and we thank him for being involved in the community, that's cool as shit, you know, because Puckett's the man. That's what he does. But we got to play the game the best way it's supposed to be played. And, and you know what? Let's take a look at other first-person shooters. Counter-Strike is 5 versus 5. It's a little different. It's the best first-person shooter out there. Quake, I think that was 5 versus 5. I thought that was 1v1. I think. But I'm lying. <laughs> But <laughs> this is what I'm talking about with DMAC. You always have to fact check DMAC, dude. Because no, if no, no one says no, anything, okay, DMAC will run done, with it bitch. instantly. No, what I'm saying is let's actually explore it. And, right. and let's yeah. stop thinking that 4v4 is the only way to play first person shooters because it's not. It's, you know, really. it's a new game. There's no better time to explore all the options than right now. You know, there's not even a confirmed second event yet, although I'm sure there will be. Uh, 4v4 is great, but I don't I think there is a confirmed second on. event. Yeah? And, and here's my confirmation. Is the banning of Scar Jordan, TDK, and Maniac for two events. And 610, I think. And, and, and 610, yes. I, I've seen that. Yeah. So, hey, the banning of those four because of whatever happened... 
at the event. I think that kind of confirms we're going to have Halo 4 on the circuit next season. Hope so. Yeah. That's, that's a good idea. I, I mean, regardless, we got AGL, so... And four events, they said. I, I heard somebody tweet, what, two old, two returning cities, two new cities. So I'm excited to see where they decide to throw throw everyone into. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, all that, I'm not concerned about the tournament scene yet. What I'm concerned about is figuring out what works best for this game and running with it. I mean, I believe this weekend uh, I reached out to Legit, and uh, Legit said him and Warriors would be interested in running 5v5s. Ninja's kind of on the fence with it. Legit thinks uh, DMAC's kind of in the right. Uh, so if we could get four more pros, I think it's going to be DMAC and Warriors versus me and another team thrown together. Just kind of like a show match to figure out what the hell's going on. Uh, I'm sure one of them my will team stream is it. Gonna, my team's going to lose, most likely. Yeah. Because I'm struggling. Yeah, you are. You're struggling. But I'm, I'm trying. I, I'm, I'm putting my time in. I mean, DMAC I and I still use the BR. And I am... I like the BR. I, I like the BR, but dude... I'll, Underrated. I'll, what sucks about Slayer Pro for me is that I can't use my light rifle. I am such a sucker for that light rifle. I love dude, it. I love it. Dude, melee is basically in the game. Oh, oh, uh, let's let's go ahead and move into glitches then, DMAC. Look I, think, at you. I think that's so fucking cool. It, it's Super Grenade it, is in the game. I know everybody's seen the Super Grenade by now, but... Yeah, uh, uh, this, if you haven't seen the Super Grenade... Uh, basically, you throw a grenade and you sprint right after. Uh, Clicked on the Halo Council YouTube does a great job at breaking down uh, how to do it yeah. and it uses examples as to when to use it. Uh, Clicked also shout out you got you're pretty much on top of your shit in regards to figuring out the glitches. But uh, let's just go ahead and go through them all, kind of the first thing. So let's talk well, about these the, are what I've heard. Let's just oh, no, okay. let's just let's just talk about the super throw and then we'll move on to the BXB or nothing. It's like. Double it's like throwing man. a 90 mile, 90 mile an hour fastball. Yeah, is what it's like. And it's fucking sick. And the grenades actually work. And it, like when you throw them far, it's like, oh wow, the master chief does have his cannon back. Like Halo One, he used to hurl grenades across the map, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden he got this little sissy girl arm and he's flinging them, you yeah. know, like Ma underhand. Master chief has been working out. That is for sure. Yeah, especially. I I, I think there's no reason 343 should patch it. I think it needs to stay in the game. And I think it just helps the game overall because there's some instances where you do need to do it. And if you want to go for a quick little sticky, it's the best. You have to do oh, it. That's so, yeah, it's so yeah. key for that. Glitches, in my opinion, are like what makes games. It helps separate pros from amateurs so much. Like if somebody's running away from you and gets around that corner and you hurl a fastball at them and you can get it to the bounce. I mean, I'm not sure exactly what the bounce distance is, but a regular grenade throw, let's say, bounces four feet. This one will bounce ten feet. You can catch people trying to get away, catch them running away. It brings all the other attributes in, whether or not it's thrust or jetpack or, or hard shield or whatever it is you're using. It just brings all those into factor more, and it also allows people who are really skilled, who put all that time into the game, to really excel above other people and the casual gamers. Uh, and you said it exactly right. I think Halo 2 proved to be more that than uh, than in Halo 1. I think in Halo 1, the glitches were just part of the game. They were just yeah. so essential. A backpack reload was just something that I, I did and I needed. Naturally. You know? mm -hmm. And that's something that I also heard is back in the game. There's been rumors of a backpack reload, guys. And, and you want to talk about a big advantage if you're one of the guy and the people who run around in Infinity Slayer and use the two main weapons, like light rifle and BR, run out of ammo, backpack, reload, switch out, throw out the BR, great idea. If you're a sniper, if you're like Formal or Snipe Down or Roy or Pistola, any of these players, you shoot your four shots, someone's coming, you want to clean up the kill top middle, backpack, reload, your sniper, pull out your BR or your DMR, finish off that kill top middle, pull out your sniper, and you're ready to go again. And with instant spawn, I think it's the best thing for this game if you have a power weapon and you're pushing on the other team, which is something you got to take into consideration, too, because without backpack reload, if you're trying to push on the other team and you have a power weapon and you run out, you're pretty much dead in water. Yeah. Uh, it, it really does change the way you move around the map, which is just so key to the flow of the game. Now, right. mo moving on, there's another glitch that I do all the time. You're really good at it, and I don't... If anyone it's, knows DMAC in gaming, he's not good at, like, he, he's at, you're not, like, awful, but you're not, you know, I not do good. what I do. I, I, you know, I win some, I lose some. But 
That double melee is my best fucking friend. I'm <laughs> telling you, that shit is sick. Tell him how to do it, D-Mac. The double melee is very basic. It's melee, sprint, base, uh, melee. Uh, so sprint is basically your cancel. And uh, it, it works really well, uh, and it's really effective, especially because you're sprinting when you do your second melee, uh, if, you know, sometimes, and, and then you're kind of lunging towards the dude. So it's, uh, it's honestly just so quick, and, and even if you just melee, melee, it's quick, but, but if you melee, sprint melee, it's, it's a little quicker. And it's noticeably faster with the Magnum, correct? Like, that's kind of what you do. You kind of switch to your secondary, which is your pistol. And then you kind of go to town with it? Yeah, of course. No, you have to do your pistol. And, and and that's so key because when you're up close, the pistols is dominant anyway. So it, it's Slayer Pro where it comes to light. That's why I can't wait till we play, like, King Games with no radar because then you could actually get close to dudes, you know? Kyle, what's so, your thoughts on the double melee? Dude, honestly, I just found out about it really? just now. I, I did not know that there was a double the melee. expert, dude. I... Yeah, I don't know why I didn't hear about that. I mean, I've been playing a decent amount. I just didn't know. I've been doing the bolt shot thing. I've been doing the nade thing a ton, uh, trying to get used to them. But the double melee, I honestly didn't even know that it was there. Yeah, right, yeah, it's well, awesome. Tell, tell us, since you mentioned the bolt shot, run down the bolt shot. Bolt shot, and you just one charge it up, bolt shot somebody, and you just hit, I think it's you just hit reload right away, and all of a sudden, boom, you're ready to go again. However, bull shot was something I did want to talk about because I have such mixed feelings about that. When you can run around in a 44 or 5v5 game type, not even be in that close quarters of range, like that close quarters, and you can just bolt shot the crap out of people. I haven't decided whether or not I like it more or not, but like we were playing yesterday, and neighbor couldn't shoot a DMR, but he's running around bolt shot, racking up tons and tons of kills, just bolt shot everybody. I feel like... Some of the ranges, like sometimes I'll be right next to somebody and not kill them. Other times I'll be like 15 feet away from them and both shot kill them. And I don't understand how it works exactly or how the uh, the uh, bullets and hitboxes are with that weapon, but uh, maybe a maybe a uh, a patch or a nerf of it or something might be in order at some point in the future. You, you know, my thing is is I like the glitch, all in all. I really do. Bolt shot's a fucking bitch-ass yeah. gun. It is. It is a bitch-ass gun because it's a secondary. <laughs> it is a sec. I can't believe you got me to say bitch-ass gun. Dude. Um, it's a secondary. Now, if this glitch existed and the, you could pick up the gun on the map, it'd be a completely different story. I think everyone would yeah. be okay. Everyone would be like, oh, it's just like the mauler, man. Like, mauler, you go bottom, bottom mid on guardian, pick it up, charge snipe one, and you blast away. Yeah, but it's this, more powerful than the mall. This you spawn with it. And on a right. close map like Haven, you can just run around and, well, I say close, like, that's about as close as you get, you know, that or a drift. I was going to say, a drift, you, you can yeah. see it used really effectively. I mean, I love pulling it out and, and like, raping kids around their shields. Whoa, but... not the R word, bro. I'm no. kidding. I was kidding. Oh, all right, whatever it is. <laughs> I love raping kids with it when, you know, when I'm those shields, I pull it off and kill someone. But, you know, if I know that dude's hiding behind the corner with a bolt shot, and I play it really smart and do exactly what you should do in the situation, and he jumps out from 15 feet away and bolt shots you somehow, and you see the death cam, and you're here, and his reticle's over here, and somehow it just kills you, I'm like, what the hell is this? No, like, this it's is some stupid crap. I mean, yo, know, and that's the thing is uh, that I, I still want to see most of the guns on the map in competitive play. I, I wouldn't mind yeah. picking up a saw, dude. I, I really, in an objective game, I wouldn't mind picking up a saw. And that's the first time that I've said that about a Halo, that we don't need to strip this game down. Because it, it really adds a fun factor, and uh, it doesn't take away from the competitive too much. And the competitive game doesn't need to be that dry. If you're really the best, you'll survive either way. So uh, I think that's the coolest part of the game, is all these fucking weapons... You could actually do. You could actually use. So there might be more glitches that we learn that need to get patched because that shit needs to get patched. Do you think but, you're going on the record and saying bolt shot needs to be patched? I think the bolt shot needs to be patched, but all the other uh, glitches that we've talked about, I think those work. You know, within the game. Nothing so, even but, wrong with the bolt shot glitch. It's yeah. just the bolt shot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's the glitches. glitches I love glitches. Glitches are the best. Yeah, because what but. happens is they try, they'll end up trying to fix right. the glitch, and then they'll fuck up like the net code or something, 
and everything will just go to shit. So just in the other halos, out. you had three, maybe four weapons that you would see people use. So you had the BR slash DMR. I just like bolted that into one for now. Sniper rifle, and then rockets slash uh, tube, uh, whatever the okay. hell that thing was called. But now you have people running around with bolt shot and needler and saw and light rifle and Shotgun. beam rifle and. What does need to be patched, though, is incineration cannon. That thing is insane. I love using it, but, geez, that thing is crazy. You can do ridiculous things with that fun weapon. Yeah, that's my that gun for Dominion, son. I just... And, yo, oh, see, blast. it's another game type that is Dominion. Uh, what, are there any other, um... I heard about a uh, double shot. Ah, uh, that's... That's the rumor. Rumor has it... The BR? The rumor has it is that Mick Wynn... Austin McWin, little skinny guy, long hair, punk rocker, cool ass dude, knows a glitch for the double shot for the BR from making it a five shot to a four shot now because you can double shot, and he's not telling anyone. So this little bastard is holding is this, out a double shot from every one of us. Is this kind of like when Wall Street Instinct came up with that one hit melee and they made a video of it and put it on YouTube and then everyone no. spent a couple days? Okay. This not is this like crap. Austin isn't even allowing it to be made. He's not even going to try to get anything from, like, ad money or anything on YouTube. He's just giving it to himself. That's it. Yeah, well, Go maybe on. if there's a tournament <laughs> next weekend, it would work. But, no, it's not going to work. Yeah, I mean, eventually someone's going to find out. But yeah, that's, like, that's definitely going to change the playing field. I mean, at the BR, the, the thing that I like about the BR... That changes the BR completely. Yeah. Well, Are besides the fact that if you pick the BR on Solus, you might as well just punch yourself in the nuts because you can't <laughs> fucking reach across the map. Um, but besides that, the thing about the BR compared to the DMR, at least online for me, is with the DMR, you end up missing, you know, and you get punished for missing, as everyone knows. But the BR, you can kind of miss uh, one of the two or three of the bullets in that spray and still clean up the kill. But mm -hmm. you miss two or three shots with that DMR, it's pretty much game over. I have no problem with picking the BR on Haven uh -uh. because I, it just, it's so effective. I don't know why, you know, probably smaller map, closer quarters, that kind of stuff. But it's just really, really effective, especially on that map. I like well, it on a drift. I, I just looked at, at the chat and somebody brought up a, a good point. The sticky detonator is way too fucking powerful. <laughs> Yo, yeah, dude, honestly, I love, I love the sticky detonator. Diesel. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a cool idea. Again, I don't hate on the weapon. Uh, that's cool. It's it's just, god damn it, <laughs> it, it's a bitch. So it got to be one of those weapons that rarely drops on the map. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could come, fine. But make it come in an objective game type, and it's rarely on the map. Uh, mm. I don't. I don't think it's too bad, dude. The rockets in Halo One used to be absurd. People, you, you used to join XBC games uh, and be like, right. "No you're rockets!" Right. right. No rockets on Prisoner, man. I agree with that. I agree with that statement. Okay. But it's just I guess girl. I just uh, there was this one dude that raped me with it like four or five times <laughs> today. I swear to God, in a row. So maybe it's it's. That's because hard. you you you're a kill cam noob. You see where he killed you from. You're like, oh fuck that! I'm sprinting <laughs> right to that bastard. <laughs> Yo, kill cam is cool too. Wait, what is the gun that kills people in one shot no matter where you hit them? Is that binary? Binary rifle. rifle. Okay, yeah, that thing is so annoying. Dude, I don't. It's, how do you even miss? How do you even die when you I have miss. that thing? I miss. I miss all the time with it. I, it's my kryptonite. I can't do it. I can't wow. do it. I feel oh. like I've used it once maybe. Dude. So, if you took any abilities out the game right now, which I, abilities uh, wouldn't be used for competitive play? I, you know, dude, I, um, I've been thinking about this a lot. And um, I, I play Slayer Pro, and it's okay. Mainly, uh, I'm turned off by Slayer Pro just because everyone votes Haven. Everyone votes Haven. My brother... I'm, I'm totally turned off by it. Oh, yeah. So, so, so done on Slayer Pro. My brother has played eight games. Oh, of those eight, Slayer Pro. Yeah. yeah, of those eight games of Slayer Pro, he's played Haven. <laughs> he's played Haven every single time. He, Dude, he can't even boring. enjoy the game when he comes over to my house because he only plays Haven. But at least he knows Haven. He knows the callouts, which is yep. good. You played yeah. with him today, G. He you know, he's getting there. He does. The, g the game is meant for the loadouts, and it is. not having the loadouts but, is just not fun. 
I was thinking about it right. is the the way I was thinking about it is like objective games and just game types in general. When you have instant spawn, I think jetpacks and thrusters are a little bit overpowered to spawn with. I really do. I think if you take realities on the map and you can pick them up, perfect, fucking wonderful. Because every map no. needs a jetpack. I think. I think that's I don't, perfectly. I don't wrong. think it's that bad because the weapons, just the weapons, are so good that you can. Yes, and no. great, but the weapons can help balance that overpoweredness of loadouts that the weapons just come into factor so much more because of that. I, I can't disagree more with any one. of you. It's the jetpack, if that. If that. Yeah, I, was, I don't see anything wrong with thrust. If anything, I'd say it's underpowered. I think yeah. thrust is actually my... Thrust is probably my favorite. Yeah, because it looks cool as shit. Yeah, it looks fucking awesome, and then as soon as you're done... You don't have to wait that split second. As soon as you thrust and you're done thrusting, you can shoot. That's badass. Yeah. That's not like sprint. Sprint, you got that full three seconds. You got to wait for your arms to fucking... Break. Yeah, you're like, look, Party. look, look. Oh, there's a radical. Oh, yeah. But, oh, no, I can shoot. You got first two yeah. shots. Stupid. Um, <laughs> But I, I personally... If it were up to me, I would take the abilities, put them on the map, and everything else. Change some of the ordinances. I would have double damage come very, very rarely, but it can mm-hmm. come. Other than that, dude... I think everything's fine. And people need to stop freaking the fuck out about everything. Like, myself included. Because, you know, everyone says, oh, you got to be patient. Well, I've been playing com- in the competitive scene. I've been around it for ten years now. Ten fucking years. I know what works and I know what doesn't. So when people say be patient, it's like, you know, who are you to tell me to be patient about it? <laughs> but when I step back and think, I'm like, you know, they're, they're probably right. We probably should honestly just let this game evolve. And we shouldn't worry about anything. I mean, until that MLG playlist, like until MLG comes out and says, okay, the playlist is coming out this month, we need game types. What do you guys like so far after two months of playing the game? That's when we should all say, this is what works, this is what doesn't, this has to get out of there. And I think the only way we can honestly do it is just vote. We we can't have... You know, like, back in the day, we can't have, like, Anakin just be like, oh, well... Yeah, that doesn't work. No. (laughs) I remember, like, you know... Like, back in Halo 2, like, when you have something like that, back in Halo 2, every player said, host is overpowered. Number one seed cannot have host and color. Like, CTF Beaver Creek, prime example. Mm Mm-hmm. Anakin and the guys from LG said, oh, we don't see a problem with that. We had a 90% vote rate. For taking for making host not get color as well, and it still didn't happen. I think it has to be as fair as well. They started possible. switching up hosts. They did after, team didn't get the host after all the time. Mid yeah. 06, they started doing it, but before then, it was just un- absurd. Ogre two, mm-hmm. Ogre one would go 57 and like 13 on Rocket Arch all game. Yeah, I I got that host. That was definitely ridiculous. Yeah, it sucks for sure. It's the worst feeling ever, but. I think we just have to all be as fair as possible, and that's the only way we can do it is vote. There, and, there should be some options, and just vote. And I, I think every game type should be in the mix, and I also think various methods. I, I know Diesel's already come out with his own set of uh, competitive game type rules or whatever it is, and his team uh, is going to be playing on them. So I guess check out Formal or Snipe Downstream and see if you like those, but... That's the only one I really know who's doing anything and sending it in motion for rule wise. And 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 we're working on with him to get some maps out there from Salat. Salat put out a pit remake, looked pretty damn good. It did, but the but, thing you is, know, tired. I'm tired of the regular maps. I agree with you. I'm kind of tired of pit. I am. <laughs> I think it's just a one game type type of thing. It's CTF. That's it. At this point, let's get rid of it for TS. Let's move on to bigger mm. and better things. Let's say, let's say the map of Pit. That was, I think, my favorite Halo 3 map, for sure. Yeah, you I think you would like to see Pit TS, Pit CTF? No, 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 again. just CTF, just CTF. Just CTF? But I would okay. love to see Pit and Narrows and a, a midship. and. A... Well, there's a Narrows remake, too. But, again, uh, I think with Narrows, we don't need to go there because we got Haven. No, uh, Narrows looks hideous. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't I'll, look pretty, so... I'll tell you, it, everyone's going to think I'm literally schizophrenic when I say this, but 
DMAC and I got a chance to, to walk around on a map from Halo Reach that never got paid, played in the competitive scene, but I think actually may have a chance of actually doing well in this game, and that's uh, the case. You, you think so? I you think I would like to see someone play it. it maybe Oddball. The thing is, dude, if this, the, the DMR reaches so far across the map that maps that are slightly bigger, like if you were to make Lockout now and make it proportionate for Halo 4, you would be able to five the guy going for Sniper every single time. Online, on land, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Even and that's what the Slot is working on now. And he is. is Slot's going to be working on Lockout. But I honestly think the cage is, is worth testing. And I only say this, I only say it because it is the prettiest map uh, on the face of this earth. There's like an Aurora Borealis flighting in the back. There's like the sun setting. Everything's perfect. It, it's like the most romantic map on the face of this earth. It is pretty fucking romantic. It is. It really is. <laughs> now, um, what other maps would you like to see come back? Or is it time to finally move on to original thought? And and, and the thing is, that's way easier said than done. That's yeah. hard shit. Uh, the, the way these maps are constructed, obviously you're going to have people just creating asymmetrical maps, and, and that's not really what makes a great map all the time, man. Honestly, the best maps in Halo have not been asymmetrical. So, uh, who needs to think of these maps, and uh, is that a way we need to go, or should we bring out some other classics? Chiron. Ah, fucking kill you. That'd be <laughs> fucking cool. Shut, <laughs> shut your no one. Play Chiron all the time. I and know you, you won. Longest. You no. At, at both no, a hundred percent no. I think. Um, I think maps that could work. Um, I wouldn't mind to see uh, a Beaver Creek, I think, or Battle yeah. Canyon, or Beaver Canyon, whatever the fuck you guys are familiar with in Reach. Uh, I wouldn't mind to see the Beaver Creek return. I, I, I think that mm -hmm. would actually work perfectly. I think Rocket Arch would be so dominant now. Uh, but then again, it goes back to are we kind of falling back into that old niche that we always kind of fall ourselves, put ourselves into? And if we even want to do it, I mean, the... You also got to think, dude, like, at, at the beginning of this show 40 minutes ago, you were saying 5v5's the shit. Imagine playing 5v5 Beaver Creek. You would fucking kill yourself. That's true. Like well, we said before, be there's massive size. It got to be resized. Mm -hmm. All right. And How I, big a Beaver Creek are you trying no, to make? You know, give, me an, give me an extra biggest... large Beaver Creek. <laughs> give One me extra an extra large. large. <laughs> How is this for crazy? Diet. Diet extra large Beaver Creek. I was, like, sitting there thinking, I was like, man... What if you ran like a a four v four slash five v five tournament? Like the the slayers, you played four man and then you sat back on one dude, you know, and then the objectives you open to fives. It would be so weird, but I was Wait, just thinking about it. Your coach has to be on your team. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> you know, Dude, it's pretty come, silly, dude but come on with that. I know it's just become very high. I was just thinking about it. So you have substitutions I, now. Yeah, I just thought it would be, be insane. Like, uh, and then the coach actually becomes useful. He's like, look, man. Yeah. Formal, dude. You're not performing. You're out. Get the you fuck know. in there, Heinz. That's the thing. If I went negative, I got pulled. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's a fantasy. And it I'd only play happen. bomb. <laughs> Whatever. I would never have Is it. there a bomb? No, there is. Dude, like, I love out. bomb. Man, like, come me out of this game. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I, I, I think also Warlock. I don't know if anyone's had the misfortune of looking at this map. Warlock all... is hideous. Do not... That is out of the equation. But but honestly, thinking about it, dude, I'm not sure what kind of... I still... I, the, the thing about this game that I was actually talking about on Twitter is, like, it the way it plays out reminds me a lot of how Halo 1 Pistol was. You can get away with playing these bigger maps and still be able to play with 4v4. You really are. You're able to play on some of these maps 2v2 just because the DMR reaches so far. Like, yeah. I could very easily see myself sitting Red Tower on Hang 'em High in this game, same proportion, and fiving a guy top blue. No questions asked. Not, not even yeah, the slightest bit of hes hesitation. I don't think small arena maps are going to work in this game. I really don't. The, and the only reason I say that is, is because if you put someone on Amplified... Imagine, you know, 
A and B sitting top A and B with DMRs as you're spawning left, right, and then sometimes in the base, you'll get mowed down. It'll be annihilation. That won't even right. be fun. Well, we just change. Well, you can't necessarily say that because all of a sudden the towers just wouldn't be power positions anymore. You know, the jetpack completely God, changes everything. Jetpack. I could see like four people battling all in the air. I meant onslaught. I meant onslaught, by the way, not onslaught. Okay. I, I messed up. I always loved oh. onslaught too. And, and basically, Scotty, you're saying Halo has changed as we know, it. <laughs> and, and and it's no longer the same game at all. It and, is. and I guess. That's the theme of this episode here, is Halo's different, and we gotta fucking evolve. Uh, otherwise, we're not gonna play the best game that we could be playing over the next three years with the most amount of people watching. People mm-hmm. will get left at the fucking dock, and we'll be playing a worse game. That could be a horrible decision. So over the next few months, the community gotta come together. And we got to make sense of this shit so everyone is happy and we can't think like we've thought for the last eight years because we got a different game. It is. It Video is. games in general have just evolved since then. Yeah. You know, one, graphics-wise. Two, what they're able to do and, like, uh, what they're able to run. The controllers. I would still... One thing I want to say, too, and I was thinking about this today, I want to design my own controller that I can use. I want to go back to the Halo 2 controller, the S-Type, so that I don't have to crunch my hands and I don't have carpal tunnel, and I want to get extra buns on an, extra buns on an S-Type controller. Okay. That's what I want. Dude, my hands hurt. Dude, Probably okay, fine. so let me... Speaking, speaking of controllers, I didn't realize how bad I had gotten, like how casual I became as like a gamer. My two options of controllers are a wireless 360 controller, as everyone knows, is just just awful. And then the MLG controller. And the MLG controller, it, it's like they had a decent idea, and I, 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 I'm missing every single piece, minus the buttons. Every piece is just gone. <laughs> I don't and think the controller's bad. It's not bad, it just plays fast games. because it's Mad Cats. Like, I, I have to put my sense on, like, two. I think Mad Cats could make a good product, yeah. but, like, for shooters, I, I don't know. Like, for some reason, the thumbsticks, they're not that slow for me. So, I don't, what? you know, they move too fast. Yeah, they it's, are. They're super fast. It's just a weird thumbstick movement. Well, I mean, speaking about the whole evolution thing, today, nowadays, it's all about, one, health, and two, like, ergonomics. And I want an ergonomic controller that I can hold, that fits my hands. Like, they came out with that big... What the fuck is an ergonomic controller? Well, you know, like, it's like uh, uh, good, you know, it's like good posture, you know, where they could chair that helps your posture. That would be like an ergonomic chair. Okay. okay. You know what I mean? Fascinating. That's you what I have now. You're really worried about your hands. Dude, my I've God. had hand pro. Aaron and I have both had hand problems. Like, no, I can't I play too. all day long. I'm missing my a nail. Hands kill. I can't even do it. I'll take ibuprofen before I play because I can't even play for that long. So that's something I've always wanted, and I don't know. I know they put a lot of people's input into the MLG controllers. I don't know, one, did they not listen to them? Or two, like, I don't know why they didn't just come out with a comfortable controller. I honestly don't think the 360 controllers are comfortable. I don't know if it's because I have really long fingers or something, nah, but I honestly don't like it. I, I'm the exact same way. I, I, I can't claw, and that's I, I have to shoot with my index, and then it's like... <laughs> I tried to claw for like a day, and I was like, I'm just going to cut my finger off yep. because it hurts so bad mm-hmm. right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that S type, man. Like, dude, it was so nice. I, I, one, no one had bumper jumper too, so I had an advantage uh, falling. Which I, my awesome. hands really do hurt with the sprint. My thumb is fucking killing me all the time. Well, that's that's, default. that's gonna probably stay. Um, yeah. On to this next. Th- this next segment is uh, a little bit different than what we normally talk about here. Uh, this is called, basically, what this is, is, as you see at the bottom, is Halo 4 API. API stands for Application Programming Interface. Now, from, I don't want to butcher this, so I, I want to try to be as clear as possible with this. Uh, essentially, what API is, is a way for two programs to interact with one another, to communicate. And so, why we're talking about it is, is every Halo, up until this one, the, Halo, the, the API was available for sites such as Halo Tracker and stuff of that sort. 
Now, what Halo Tracker was able to do with this software was come up with copious amounts of stats. Uh, in Halo Reach, they were also able to create a 1 through 50 ranking so people actually had a reason to play. There's six there's six figure people on some of these sites just so they can track their stats. They can also do things such as heat maps, so you can go and look at the map and see, oh, well, I died here by the guy who was sitting top BR, or I kill, I got most of my kills on this back ramp. So for scouting reports on their, on your opposition, it also helps, as well as where you know you're comfortable, where your comfort zone is, where you should position yourself, things like that. It also yeah. can even go a step further into me, I can look up myself going against DMAC. Full match record, tell me the win percentage I have against them, what maps I've won on, and what maps I've lost on. So these things are huge. Now, everyone's probably like, why the fuck do we care about that? Well, the fact, the reason why I'm bringing it up today is that API is not in Halo 4. So these sites that are community ran that have helped out for so long and even created a 1 through 50 ranking for Halo Reach now have to go through 50 steps to do what they did in one step. And that's and so basically these sites are forced. It's almost inevitable that they'll close because why put in the work? Right. Like I remember what is it back on the U.S. I think it was on USA, maybe even G4 as well. When Puckett was, was they were casting the show, they would go to a, like a third person view and show X's on the map where people were dying, what was going on in the game, and that was great stuff to watch. And I remember getting on Bungie and one like looking at where people die, and you can try to figure out use strats, kind of even improve upon yourself. Uh, StarCraft has stuff like that. I don't know if League of Legends or anything has no, it. I, and that's to my knowledge, no. So, like, you know, say StarCraft 2 has it, and it's great where it keeps your win, win-loss win percentages on the maps against who, against what race, all this stuff. And then for Halo, like, the fact that we don't have a third-person uh, observer mode, like, one, that's a huge disadvantage. I said the game can never be as, as big as you want it to be for that sole reason. And now, without this... Like, that's just another thing. It's like you want to grow or you want to move forward, but somebody's holding you back. I feel like that's what both of these things are doing, and this is really dis- disappointing, especially because, you know, no, uh, like, great ranking system so far yet, no great uh, a- API to watch it and monitor things like that and improve upon it. I think it would be great, and I even signed the petition today that you sent me and you, you uh, linked up on Twitter. Yeah, I'll tweet it that, again after this. Yeah, tweet it again for people because if we need more people to do it because it's something that would really, really help the game. And it keeps people interested. It keeps people coming back. It keeps people improving. D, what's that smug-ass look on your face for? <laughs> you, you see that? He's like that scowling. That was the most smug like look sc- I've ever sc- seen. Now like that scowling you mentioned at me, dude. <laughs> Go ahead. Come on, Grinch. What do you got for us? Oh, fuck the little guy. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious, uh, you know, m- maybe they want to keep all that traffic, and, and maybe but they why? have... There's, there, have you tried to look up a carnage report on Waypoint? I know. Good luck, have fun. I know. It's bullshit from what's been out there, but, you know, there's a possibility that an update comes out, uh, and there's a possibility that we, we already know that there's a ranking system coming out, Maybe there's a possibility that the stats get updated. And that's all I'm saying here is don't jump the gun. We're getting a ranking system. We're probably going to get some sort of stat system that's more improved for this, Um, especially if we complain and holler a little bit. I think doing the petition is a good idea because it's going to do one of two things. Either one, in the dream reality, we get the API open. That's fucking dope. Or two, we get uh, Halo Waypoint to get a little better, which would also be pretty cool. So, hey, it is what it is. You know, it takes a bit a bit away from the game. I, I don't think it takes a lot of away from the game, all right? But uh, the stats that were given were very fucking cool, all right? I, I don't want to take away from that. And as a stats man, I definitely understand that, okay? But I, 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 the thing that's more pressing to me is that these – Companies, these websites have been there for us. They're the little man. Why have a monopoly on this? Dude, what is so hard about it? They, um, I've heard rumors that API is actually there, that, that all they have to do is open it. I've also heard 
the and opposite side saying, where they, they didn't even put one in. And it's it goes like this, D. All right, these people have been there when the game has it. They have a, a Halo players love stats. They love them. Everyone loves their stats. Everyone. Do you remember when the percentage came out? The hit percentage came out I in know, Halo Two. Do you I remember? Know. I used to love that Do you remember G Spot? He had seventy percent every game. Every game, too. <laughs> I remember, <laughs> look, these things helped. They helped with clan matches. Even when clan matches got stripped down, these sites stepped up and they kept people playing. You're telling me a site that had six figures of users on it alone, 100,000 plus users on it, deserves to just get slapped in the face because they can't go public? Are you kidding me? Dima, well, that's, that'd be like them... Scotty, that'd be like... Not... Okay, listen, listen. That's the equivalent... To us, when we heard the Microsoft news come out, when we were like, oh, fuck, no one can stream without a license, GG, the game's fucked. Like, do you remember that? You remember when that release came out and everyone jumped the gun and everyone was like, no one can fucking stream Halo anymore. That's what and these I guys think... feel like. These guys feel like we can't do stats anymore. We can't do what we've been doing for so long. And it is the most look. unfair thing on the face of this earth. All right, and, and, and look, Scotty. Don't, just don't half half lower hour, your voice just with me. Uh, just a half hour ago, you're sitting here talking about, you know what, man? I need some more patience. All right? And just earlier today, we're sitting in a room talking about how clans are coming back when the patch comes out. You're missing and the point. Know, all these things are are coming. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Uh, Kyle, ba- t- Kyle, he's missing the point. You Let want me to just say my... My player perspective. I played Halo because it was the most competitive game. I never was even huge into video games. I loved the competitiveness. I have not played the campaign for Halo 2, Halo 3, ODST, Reach, nothing. Or Halo 4. I've never played campaigns. I don't even play campaigns. I get a game, I get online, and I start playing because I want to play against someone. I want to beat them. That's why I love the game. That's why I always competed. When they had leaderboards back in Halo 2, I looked at that shit every single day, I think. Who's on the leaderboard? That's all I want to do is be on the leaderboard. You want to be on the front page. Yep. And then you're going into Halo 2. The, you, you get a 47, and you no, 44, and you get a moon, like the quarter moon, half moon, yeah, crescent. Moon. moon. I was the first one to a 50 with the with the, the uh, forerunner ring or whatever the hell it was. Because right. that's all I wanted. I was the first one there because, boom, that's what I wanted. I had to have it. Me, uh, me Roy, Lunchbox, Nated. We destroyed everyone. His three teams had 49s. I was the first one there. All I wanted to do. And then you've got the the stat pages. Without the stat pages and stuff, that's the other thing people look at. You go through and you look at a team like, oh, I want to see what my favorite player, I want to see what kind of numbers he's dropping in the game. The other huge part of it, if you can't go out and do all that stuff, no observing mode, and then it goes exactly hand in hand with the API. You just don't know. It's just not as interesting. It doesn't draw the attention and the hype every single day that lots of, I feel like, Halo players especially, half the reason they play Halo over Call of Duty or something is so that th- they can see these things and the competitive aspect of it and for these goals. Like, do you remember when Recon was out and the flaming heads of Bungie people? I wanted that so bad. <laughs> That's like all I want. You see a guy running around with a flaming head. I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, what the hell? He's got a flaming head. I'm freaking out. That stuff, like if you got like a high, like the level 50, or they had um, kind of like with, in StarCraft, they have like the Grandmasters. They got this special emblem. If you had like a special emblem in Halo, I would play the shit out of this game every single day so that I could be the top 200 or top 500 people and have that freaking helmet or that emblem or that ranking, whatever it is. I would do that. Reach? Nothing. I didn't even play. I didn't even care. More of the story here, DMAC, and I know you can relate to this as my former stat guy in 2009. Who you didn't put those fucking stats together. You had someone put them together for you. Oh, I did a lot of them. Yeah, okay, you did some. You did 10%. I did a lot of them. Okay. People are using that online to track their progression of a game over the longevity of it. You're telling me... If you, you're telling me you wouldn't want at when Halo 4 comes to an end, right? And Halo 5, and hope to God not like Halo Reach 2 fucking comes out. When Halo 5 comes out, you wouldn't want to see what your overall KDR was 
you, oh, what your win percentage was on Haven, what your win percentage was on this, what your win percentage was versus me, which would be about 2% tops. I mean, maybe for the casual gamer, that's not as important, but let's say it's two top teams or a team that takes competitive gaming, you make a living off this, you want all the information possible. Yeah. Any kind yeah. of additional information, the same reason why call-outs are so effective and people call it so much is the more information, the better. It just cannot, the more information, it just, it's not going to hurt you. It's just only going to make it better. Well, let's, uh, <laughs> there's a few things we could do about this. Is open the API or create an API. Let's sign the petition to open it. Or, or create I, it. We don't know, and I don't want to butcher this. Guys, patience. Maybe they'll open it. It is, is Look, here, let me, somebody tweeted this link, and I, I want you to understand this. All right. This is from uh, 343 Industries, Jessica Shea, Jessica O'Shea, right? However, we are treating title updates very differently for Halo 4, and rather than simply using them as opportunities for simple big fixes, we are thinking of them as a way to sustain and grow features and options. So it's possible you could see save films mode available for campaign, as well as some other significant features at some time in the not too distant future. So obviously this is what I'm talking about is uh, they're kind of treating this shit like a PlayStation product. Uh, when you buy it, it's not exactly what you're getting right from the get. It's going to open up a little bit and it might cost us a little bit of money for the maps that are coming out in the future, that's fine, but I think we're going to get some features that we're happy with. They're going to come for free. They're just going to come a little bit later. All right, well, right, the, I can see that. There's a huge difference between, like, the PC gaming world and the console gaming world is because a console has a life, a lifespan, which is why these games need to come out and need to come out quickly. Like, how many Call of Duty with Black Ops 2? Which co number Call of Duty is this? like seven or something like there's so many they just pop them out over and over and over again because the light i feel like it's the life cycle of the console on top of compared to like a starcraft game where it comes out once every like 10 years yeah because there's going to be a new console out and the games most likely i'd say like 99 percent chance aren't even going to work on the next one so you have all these people putting in all these t all this time doing all these things and there's just there, there's just a window that you have and you have to put it in the window which is why they do it and I think and it's great, too, that they way. do it. This is another way, Kyle, to sustain longevity. So, you know, four months from now, six months from now, a new feature will get some people who maybe didn't play Halo 4 for a month, uh, get them a little more excited to pick up the game and get back into it. And, and that's exactly what happens whenever something like that goes on with the Halo community, kind of revitalizes everybody, and, and everything gets going. Or, or it cripples them, like... I don't know. Let's just take a normal piss. Like no bloom, Scotty. Fuck off. Let's just take. No, let, let, let's take the. Let's take the normal pissed off gamer. We'll, we'll, we'll go me. I'm genuine, genuinely angry at all times. Um, I paid sixty dollars for the game. I paid yeah. forty dollars for an eight gigabyte flash drive, just so I could get half of that added for Spartan Ops. Well, I don't got, have a look, spectator look, mode. I have all, to pay for extra maps. That's bullshit. Why not already have them? Listen, listen. listen. No, I agree. I understand no, what you're no, saying. No, no, no. I know where you're gonna go with this. I I know where you're gonna go with this. Oh, Scott, you're just a normal pissed off white kid from the south. Uh, right. Fuck you. All right. Dollars all fucking line. You could have bought that flash drive, motherfucker. That's your fault. I had to dope. get it. <laughs> I had to get it, didn't I? I had to get it. A hand job with that flash drive. <laughs> What is this? I'm just saying, dude. Like, <laughs> why not already have it? Like, if you're planning on bringing it in, you might as well do it. I understand they were on a crunch and everything, but something's got to give eventually. And you got to say, they probably fucked up. There's just not enough time in a day. Yeah. I think we've got a lot. I mean, it's already mid, it's already midnight now, but I think we got a lot of valuable lessons from this episode, <laughs> and that's going to be one of them for sure. There's just not enough time in a day. What else you got for me, D? Hit me with the Sesame Street. What, what do you think today's episode was? Open your mind and think 5v5. Well, let's start off. Last week's lesson was honesty. Was honesty yeah. is the best policy. Shout out to Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> What's this week's? 
I don't evolution. Know, it's been funny. Evolution <laughs> and knowing is half the battle. Somebody put that on the chat. I, I wrote that. Knowing down. is half the battle. Knowing is half the. Battle. I would I would agree with evolution. <laughs> I also think patience. I think I think patience. Yeah. Period. 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 Fuck. Like that's that's how I feel. Man. Because it sucks. Being patient sucks, man. It's one of the hardest things in this world. Yeah, it is. It's hard. It is. I can't. Because at the end of the day, you don't know what's gonna be on the other mm-hmm. side, and that's what's the the struggle is, ladies and gentlemen, and that's why we have to survive through the struggle. Look, we were so patient for the game to get here. And now we're so excited. Look at what we got. And, and you know, uh, for some people that I'm talking to playing Call of Duty, they got a game with all, all everything and more. But they got the same game. And, and there's some people leaving disappointed with that. I haven't seen too many people disappointed with what we got. At the end of the day, we talked about the fact that it was about the game, and that's exactly what it was about. The game is great. And that's what we need. Yeah. Uh, so that, that is one thing we firm. all agree on, that Halo 4 is a great game. Because I actually, yeah. I get, I'm get, i like, okay, what? I don't have any time to do anything today. Ah, screw it. I'm just going to play Halo anyway. I, I haven't played and I haven't done like that, that for a long time. time. I'll be and honest, that's dude. That's what I'm saying. Before it's, I got the game, before I got the game, I was uh, I was this close to not even buying the game, to be honest. I looked at it, I was like, ah, oh, fucking jetpacks. Game looks like shit. Capture the flag, I get this fucking stupid pistol, it gives me a 30% damage increase, all this. Played it. It's one of those games you honestly have to play to shut yourself up with. If you're a cynic like me. Um, but I love it. I, I really genuinely do. I think with patience, when I get my ranks, um, also another idea, maybe get rid of voting for maps, bring it back to the old style where you just kind of get a map and a game type and you're stuck with it. So that way I can not play Haven all the time. I think that would be good. Other than that, I, I love what we have. And I, I think that only goes up from here. Also, we will be playing 5v5s this weekend. Anyone want to be a part of that, yes. shout us out on Twitter. Kyle's probably way too cool to come and play fives, so don't even tweet him. I'll about play fives. It. You'll play fives. Out. I'm all you're, about, you're about Halo Four. I'm all about Halo Four. Oh, you're so sweet, dude. I'm so happy that I, right now, as soon as I get off, I'm gonna play a few hours. Before I'm not I playing with you. You're. So, I'm not playing with you. Here, here's Kyle. Have you ever played with Dmac? Have you ever played with Dmac? Like I, played, any, I think I played Battlefield with you. Okay, well, here's what DMAC yeah. does. Dude, we were dominant. Yeah, no, we were so good at Battlefield. Battlefield's a fun game. Battlefield, Battlefield is... A, we're, we're not the Battlefield I wish they weren't okay? lying bastards, but it's a fun game. Hey, easy, yeah, easy. Oh, yeah, yeah, those guys. I knew it. I told you. That those guys are scumbags. Um, This is what DMAC does. One, as you know, he doesn't have a headset. Two, his communication is... He'll go... Yo, one shot in that spot, man. Shit. <laughs> I and then, and then he'll go quiet, and you'll be like Dmac behind you, and he'll be like, "Oh, yo, my bad, dude. I was on the phone. <laughs> Sorry, dog." And you're like, "D, what the fuck do you mean?" He's like, "Oh, well, I put the speaker out through my TV, so I can barely hear the callouts, but I hear my gun real nice, though." It's like, "D, come the fuck on, dog." <laughs> so that's what playing with Dmac's like. Yo, so I'm gonna play some Halo 4 right now. But that that's look, for let me finish my point real quick. And and it's this. It's be excited as fuck. Because the game is dope as shit. And that's something that honestly none of us uh the game has exceeded my expectations times a hundred. I thought it was gonna be pretty good, it's great. And, and because of that I think that this community, and uh, and not even I think, I know that this community is back. It, it's back uh, strong, whether we have spectator mode, whether we have anything. It, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter mm-hmm. because it's a great game. And, and that's the premise of, of what, what needs to happen for this community to come roaring back. And that's exactly what we got. Uh, so be excited, be happy, and, and let's uh, continue to mold this shit into the right competitive settings so everyone that's in the Halo community could enjoy. Kyle, thoughts, closing? I thought I thought the game wasn't going to be that great when I first did. 
and I was wrong because I love the game. I think they did a great job. And then I was looking at the chat too. I think I started up a whole thing with the honesty policy thing. I want to say too on my notes on that. And I wrote a blog briefly mentioning it, but I didn't really get to express my full feelings about it. Hey, you, hey, know, hey, you know what, Kyle? Apparently API got fixed. API did get fixed? Maybe. Maybe. Awesome. Well, I'm, you know damn well I was taking full credit for that. This <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, anyway. I don't care if people played the game early. Well, this is a whole on. Hey, no, no, no Kyle, you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm kicking my feet up right now. I want to hear this. Go. Because I'm right. actually genuinely interested. So go I ahead. don't care if people played the game early. They set themselves up for, you know, because I said in my, blo- my blog that people are going to be out for blood next event. If I was on a team that didn't win this event, I would be thinking about this day or that tournament every single day and thinking about, one, what I'm going to do, and two, what I'm going to say to them in the game uh, wh- while we're playing and make sure that they know that they played the game early and I didn't at the previous one. And then... On top of that, I don't even know where I was going with this after that. But that's the first thing. I'm out for. I would be out for blood the next event. And I would make sure that they know that they were playing it early and I wasn't. That's what. That's what I'm saying. But I don't care if they played it. Be, played it early. Kyle's pissed yeah. off and he didn't even play in the tournament. Like that's. Don't stab someone with that pen. Right, right? dude. He's he's living. He's dude, super I, pissed. Down. Um, it's, it's fun to play with a pen. Actually, I haven't done that very often. Yeah, yeah. You can be like that newscaster and. Put it here oh, so that really? way you don't do much with your hand. You're like, oh, well, you see. Oh. <laughs> well, no, I was that. taking notes. That's what I was doing. Oh. You made me forget. Yeah. Um, uh, my closing thoughts are going to be a little bit different here. Uh, one, one, I love the light rifle. We need light rifles in everything. I love it. I think it's the best starting weapon because it's the prettiest scope. Number two, I want to give some <laughs> shout-outs to some people who have really – really stepped up in this community. Uh, most of the Halo Council staff, you guys do way too much work that I don't even know what you do. Uh, DMAC definitely doesn't know what you do. Uh, <laughs> but, um, you got x clicked. Uh, you're really stepping up. You're doing awesome. Euphorics, thank you for the call-outs. Um, uh, the, the one person I really want to shine light on, though, is Walshy. Walshy, I, I think you're playing more Halo 4. We gave him shit. Yeah. And he stepped up. Yeah, we did. He needs to step up, though. He's the exact person who needed to step up in this community. Papa Walsh. Papa Walsh. But I think Walsh has played more Halo 4 than he did Halo Reach, period, already. Um, His videos are very good. Check out his YouTube. Walsh is doing an excellent job for the community, putting everything together. Um, And that's uh, that's really what we need. I I encourage everyone to watch streams uh, as well. And and the final thing I want to say is uh, we talked about API today on the show because a lot of different people from various communities reached out and talked to us or talked to me specifically. And then I was able to figure out very briefly what exactly API was. So if you're a part of a small niche community and you just want your voice to be heard about something, contact us. The, the, it, you know, not everyone has a voice in, in this community. And yeah. as we have this voice, I might as well put it to use before you know, you guys run us out of this bitch and three other faces are on the Halo Council live show. Well, this shit yeah. started for them. Uh, exactly. They, so, they don't, they anything. Don't here, we're gone. You know? yeah. Anything. So, as soon if ranks get back up and you notice there's a fuck ton of standbyers or there's some random glitch, let us know. If you think this one thing is flawed, let us know. Just be on a communication basis with us because if we, we don't know what everyone's thinking. We really don't. We can only take opinions from what we got. Like, this show... We, we put together and we said this would probably be the best for this show so far. If you guys approach us and say, this is happening every single time, how can I change it? Let us know and we'll talk about it. And we'll see so if we can come I, to a conclusion. I want to say one thing, one more thing, real quick. is uh, I'm excited about this. Is uh, Last week it was at 16,000 subscribers. This week it's almost at 18,000. And, and that's the Halo Council's YouTube. And, and that's really exciting that everybody's subscribing. So subscribe, watch the videos. Let's get it to 20,000 as soon as possible. All right. Well, that's going to do it for uh, Episode 5. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, this weekend, once again, uh, tweet us. Let us know if you want to be a part game. of the 5v5s. Um, hopefully we can get the show match going. Kyle is going to team up with me. We need three teammates. 
and DMAC is going to play with Warriors, hopefully, unless I made that part up. But he's at least playing with legit, so we'll figure it out. Uh, yeah. Until then, stay tuned, and let us know if you have any problems in, before the next show. Take it easy.